you phoning friends, Miss Vote here. Let's talk about theme from symphony number one. It's number 4.8. It's on page 27 of your book. First thing I notice is the key signature, the flats that are in this. We have B flat, E flat, and A flat. Now, if you look through this tune, there are only two high A flats in the entire song. So can you find them? I'll give you a hint, they're in line two. High A flat is that top line, right? So there are two high A flats. I usually write a flat symbol, or I'll put one because we play those with first finger. It's up to you if you want to do that or not, but you don't want to accidentally play A natural, which is second. Okay, next as I look through here, there really aren't any new notes except toward the end, there are those super duper low ones. As a reminder, that's a low G, one and two. If you want to write one and two, just as if you're not really familiar with those low ones, it's not a bad idea as a reminder. Okay, next let's talk about dynamics. We start out MP for mezzo piano, medium soft. And then toward the end of first, the first line, we have that hairpin crescendo to get louder. And then line two is MF, mezzo forte, or medium loud. And then we kind of get softer toward the end with that diminuendo down to P for piano. Okay, that's a lot going on in this tune. It would be the last thing I would add. I would probably play the whole thing, make sure I had the fingers down. There are slurs all over the place. And the very last thing I would do is add the dynamics because it's kind of tricky when you're learning a new tune. Okay, it says we're supposed to play this a largo, which means very slowly, which is good. Yes, it helps if we play it slowly because then we can think about all those other things we have going on. Okay, this is normally a round, which means we would play it like a cannon, like um, for a jaca, but it's just me, so I'm not going to play it as a round. All right. From the beginning, I'm going to just play a little bit so you can hear how fast it goes. Largo really is slow, isn't it? All right. Good luck, everybody. Add the dynamics at the end for right now. Try to grab those fingers. One, two, beginning. Here we go. is a little bit tricky because we've been playing high notes and then all of a sudden we have to play low notes. So my embouchure didn't quite reset in time and there was a, it was a little bit hard to get that low note on, out. I would probably run those last two bars again. Just to make sure you can get that interval and you know where that sound should go. So it's harder than it looks. I would do it slowly, do it slowly, and then add the dynamics at the end. Don't forget those A flats. You got it, guys.